Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Last time, we celebrated Weeding Day, or as many of you guys thought it was when you read the title, Wedding Day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be very, very good to be doing that in a town full of animals. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe some people are... I, I'm treading very, very sensitive to her. Let's not talk about that. Anyway, today... <laughs> Man, way to make things awkward. We are celebrating Mother's Day. Kind of, yeah, on the subject of awkward. Mother's Day isn't really much of a holiday in Animal Crossing. I hope it's not like that in your real-life situation, because you really, really should show respect. <laughs> Anyway, um, your mother will not do anything more than just send you a letter on Mother's Day, and, well, that's pretty much it. It's just that it's a letter, but it is a very special letter, of course. Let's see what it says. My dear sweet Emile, your dad actually helped me with the housework today. If only it could always be like this. It's Mother's Day, Mom. Yes, okay. So, what does this letter contain? On Mother's Day, she sends you a present. How backwards is that? And the thing is, this present is a pink carnation. This is a special flower. As you might recall, when Masay visited the town a while back, or I think I visited her, uh, she gave me carnations. As you can see, I have red carnations. Hey, get the red ones. I've yet to go over. We'll recover that another time. But yes, you will get pink carnations on Mother's Day. These are special flowers. You only get one a year normally, so take good care of it. That's why I have this fence right here, so I can't possibly run over them. True story, when I got a carnation for the first time in my own personal town, what happened was I got it, I trampled it the first day I had it. I'm not kidding. So yes, be very careful with that. Anyway, I'm going to empty out the rest of my own really quick, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. By the way, what am I wearing? Like, I seriously, I kind of just went into this video wearing whatever I was wearing the previous day, like I usually do, though, but now that I stop and look at myself, it's just like, what was I thinking putting together this ensemble? <laughs> anyway, poking fun at my appearance aside, while we're going around doing kind of routine type things, something that I want to mention is just the fact that a lot of people like inserting, you know, kind of dark humor into Animal Crossing, you know, a lot of people like to say that Tom Nook is with the Mafia or is like a loan shark or something like that because he always like straps you into loans and all kinds of stuff like that. And usually I don't really buy into that. Usually I'm just kind of like, oh, come on. It's a happy game where you live in a town and you talk to, you know, happy talking animals. But there is one thing that I do want to go into that is like that that I don't hear brought up nearly as much as I think it should be. And that is your mother in Animal Crossing. I'd like to let it sink in that she sent you a present for Mother's Day and not the other way around. I'd also like to let it sink in the fact that she always writes you letters and you never write her back. In fact, you can't write her back. And she does all these things for you, never gets a response, writes you letters hoping to get a hold of you, but you never return a single one of them. And not only that, in Animal Crossing Wild World, it was worse. On Mother's Day, your mother would ask you for a reply, which you can't even do. Like, it is the saddest thing ever that she just always asks for replies, always sends you presents, yet you can't respond. It's just like, it is the saddest thing. And I just, I feel so terrible, like, whenever I think about it like that, though, but... It's something that I think deserves a little bit more attention. You never give your mother a reply. You never can give her a reply, even though she does all these things for you. And on Mother's Day, it's just the thought is kind of multiplied tenfold for me. So, yeah, it's... I don't know, like, I don't want to go, like, too into it. I don't want to make this video too depressing, though, but it's just it's something that I've noticed about how Animal Crossing is designed. And, yeah, in no Animal Crossing game do you ever have the option to write her a letter. She's never a recipient that you can type in when writing a letter. And, yeah, she will ask you for replies and never gets one. All that depressing thought aside, you will get a message on your bulletin board saying, Today is Mother's Day. You might be too shy to say thanks, Mom, on a regular day, but make sure you tell her today. She'll greatly appreciate it. But after that very dark note that I don't mean to harp on too much, but just something that I thought I should bring up, uh, I want to go up to Main Street because, per usual, I have something else that I want to show off that I do on all these holidays just because, well, I kind of like variety in these videos and all that stuff. So... Uh, as you know, when you dig up fossils, you get three random fossils, sometimes four each day, and, you know, you give him to Blathers, he assesses them, and you get something at random. Well, I've had this one fossil, of course, everyone always has that one fossil they can never find. For me, it's been evading me since January. I have been one fossil away for four months. Yeah, it's been really, really irritating. So I asked my friends to keep a lookout for the item that I need, and none of them can ever find one. And then finally, I get a friend that does find one when she has no internet and can't give it to me. And before she gets her internet back, I dig up two of the dang things on my own. Yeah, couldn't have happened sooner. No, none of that. So, I'd like you guys to see 
What happens when you donate the very last fossil you need to the museum? Here you go, Blathers. Parasaur tail. What? Could it be you're donating to the Parasaur tail? I'm very glad to accept your donation. Hoo hoo! This means yes. Oh yes. Oh my! The Parasaurus is complete at last. Is the Parasaurus is at last complete? Ah, the Parasaurus is surely an amazing creature. You know, when it comes to Parasaurus, what I love most is how ah. Uh, I'm so sorry, my mind started to race through thoughts of the Parasaurus. Anywho, I promise we will take excellent care of it here. We'll add a detailed description as well, as well. so please look at the Parasaurus display soon. Hoo hoo! What, what, a final fossil? Impossible, but true! Oh, and if I may be a little dated, I may just really dig your dev devotion to fossils! Oh, see what you did there, Blathers! Because I most certainly do, thanks, to your commi thanks for your commitment. Okay. So, Blathers makes a terrible pun, which I very much approve of, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You just get that little line of text, and I guess now I can walk through the area, this place. You know, we got that nice backdrop there. Why that's not in the art exhibit, I don't know. Well, it is kind of a backdrop to the fossils, so I see why it's not. And, jeez. You know, I gotta say... I wanted to talk about that thing about Mother's Day for the longest time, you know, that was what I was planning on talking about this day whenever I got around to it, though, but just, like, this is kind of a weird match, though, like, going over the fossil exhibit on Mother's Day, well, I guess my parents kind of are fossils, wow, that was terrible, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be, like, mean to my parents at all, though, I appreciate all they've done for me over the years and all those things, though, but, man... <laughs> Wow, I, I really hope they're not watching this video, because that would make things really awkward. No, guys, you guys are not fossils. You guys are young and vibrant. That's all I have to say about that ad. I don't even think my parents even know what a video game is, much less the fact that I make videos on them still to this day. All right, so, yeah. Anyway, this is what the completed fossil exhibit looks like. It's all very nice looking. For some reason, the T-Rex skull seems to be the one that evades everyone I know, though. But for me, it was the Parasaur tail, so, yeah. Anyway... Uh, that pretty much does it. I know it's kind of a shorter video this time around, though, but I just don't really have that much that I wanted to talk about. The donating the final fossil was kind of the thing that I wanted to do as an extra. Not really much goes on on Mother's Day, so just kind of a coincidence that I had two really short things fall together. I suppose I could go talk about a third thing, but we kind of have a meetup coming up very soon, so I think I should save that for then. So how about we go back to the house? I'm a living like a princess in this room. <laughs> All right, so... As I was saying, uh, this very creepy hypno KK, why did I choose to play this in this area? Let's let's change it to something happier while I go over this. Uh, oh, KK Island. Okay, I'll go for that. Doesn't really fit the room, but it's much nicer. All right. So, as I was saying, we have a meetup coming up very soon. When is that? Why, it is only two days from now. We are going to be meeting up for not a holiday, but a birthday. Biscuit's birthday, to be precise, as he didn't move out last month. All right. I think that pretty much does it, though. Not really much to talk about. I do kind of apologize for this being a shorter video than normal, though, but that's really all I wanted to talk about here. So next time on Animal Crossing New Leaf, or rather, two days from now on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we are going to be celebrating Biscuit's birthday. See you guys then. And my lamps are so glowy.